What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Today I would like to do another couple videos on the Willet Solar series. Uh, the first one I'd like to do would be directly connecting inverters to your solar panel. We've talked about directly connecting loads to the panel and it kind of depends upon whether the load has the intelligent electronics to pull it off or not. Uh, I still wouldn't recommend doing it but some of them can. So here I've got two different inverters uh, here. One is a cheapo $20, um, really popular model that I got from Amazon. Really high reviews, it's worked really good. Uh, it kind of in the car, on road trips and so forth. This one's more designed, it's, it's manufactured by a, a company that does a lot of solar stuff called Xantrex. It's a much more expensive inverter. It's actually a pure sine wave inverter. And so it, it has all the bells and whistles and all the intelligent electronics in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to hook them up one by one directly to, to the solar panel. Again, remember the battery is purely to provide power to the voltmeter, amp meter. Uh, it is not connected in any form or fashion to the rest of the system. So we'll find out what happens. Uh, wait till the uh, sun comes out from behind this cloud, but then we'll hook this up and see what happens. Okay, first up we have the Xantrex uh, inverter, I'm, so I'm going to go ahead and push the power and we'll see what happens. Okay, so that horrible noise is the fault alarm. And what that is meaning right now is that the voltage is too high for the inverter. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on the uh, voltmeter over here, so that you can uh, you can see that it's it's too high for the uh, for the inverter. If you can't read that, it reads 20.2 volts. Okay, well that didn't work on that uh, more expensive inverter, but maybe the cheap one doesn't have as much safety controls and so forth to, uh, to let us run this. So I've got that one connected now. Let me turn it on and let's see what happens there. Once again, we have the same behavior. This one's actually pu pulling a little bit of current, but uh, We'll zoom in on the voltmeter, but the voltmeter is still showing 19 plus volts. So it, even this cheap one is still not going to work at that voltage. So that's 19.8 volts at 0.3 amps. Okay, so what does this mean? Well, it means that it's not a good idea to try to run your inverter directly off of your solar panel. Um, you want to use a charge controller or at the very least some sort of voltage regulator to get the 12 to 14 volts that, um, well, somewhere between 11 and 13 ideally, these, uh, these inverters are going to want to run at. They're not going to want to run at 19 or 20 volts. That's going to overheat them and, and destroy them. Now I have seen other YouTube videos and I've, I've heard of people doing it. Um, yeah, there's probably some inverters out there that will, will do this, but again, you're going to destroy your inverter, it's going to overheat, it's going to have to work too hard to convert that voltage, and it's just not a good idea. It's going to uh, shorten the life of, of the device. So hopefully this definitively has shown you that you really do need a charge controller in your solar panel system regardless of, of what you plan on doing with it, and thanks for watching, guys.